nine minutes past nine here on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. As soon as you hear this song, you know it's time for Corruption Watch. And what a story we have to tell you today. Yes, we are going to tell you today about how the executive directors, two executive directors of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, have signed off questionable contracts worth more than 1.5 million Ghana cities. He's here with me in studio. He'll be giving us the very details of this um, story, this new revelation that uh, Corruption Watch has uncovered. But the Partners for Corruption Watch are Ghana Center for Democratic Development, CDD, Ghana, Ghana Integrity Initiative, GII, Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, GACC, Joy 99.7 FM, Africa Center for International Law and Accountability, Asela. You can follow us on social media, Twitter at CW Ghana, Facebook Corruption Watch Ghana, Instagram Corruption Watch underscore GH. The website is stopcorruptionghana.org. The hotline is 055-453-6586. WhatsApp is 055-453-6295. The hashtag, Wanamoni hashtag Ghana Bread. Corruption Watch is sponsored by Strengthening Action Against Corruption Stack. Before we go into the meat of the issues, after a hundred years, we need no introduction. Why would we? You've seen us prove our expertise as a bank time and again. You've watched us grow over the years, listening and understanding your needs so we can better meet them. This is how we've grown to become your most trusted brand in the banking industry and the best bank in Ghana in the 2018 Euro Money Awards. Our pedigree is without question one of the finest in the country. So the question now isn't what we can do for you, no. The real question now is what are you waiting for? We invite you to join us and experience the unparalleled excellence you want and deserve with Barclays, now a proud member of the Absa family. Orca Deco is 15 years, so come celebrate Orca at 15 with us because it's a discount for everyone, every day and on everything you buy for Orca's birthday celebration. To enjoy your discount, simply spin the Orca wheel in our showrooms. It gives you the chance to get a whopping 15% discount on all furniture and all fine household items. Whether it's that matching dinner set you want, comfortable bedding and living room furniture, toys uh, that will make your kids go gaga or more. Locate our showrooms at Spintex Road, Accra and Asuka. Opsis, the Guinness Ghana Breweries, Kumase. You can also visit our website, orcadeco.com.gh. Uh, for more our facebook page is also Oka Deco Ghana for more information think home think Africa still listening to the Super Morning Show enjoy 99.7 FM I'm going to come back now to Frederick Esiama who is with me in the studio today we have two seg- three segments um, what's new from the source and anti-corruption school on what's new we have a new case which we've been telling you about an investigation by corruption watch on the from the source segment we bring you interviews live or pre-recorded on actions involved in the case or matter under discussion today on the from the source segment we'll hear from honorable peter ebumsa kodia former executive director epa charles k amevo former deputy executive director in charge of finance and administration and anakomia director of trinity three consult a supplier to the epa on the anti-corruption school we will bring you a resource person to share his knowledge of anti-corruption cases or issues we feature on corruption watch in order to deepen our understanding of the issues our guest today is our expert is an expert on procurement issues uh, he is uh, Mr. Alexander Usua Krofi is an, an expert and a lecturer. Now, as I was saying a while ago, Corruption Watch has intercepted documents on several contracts awarded as the Environmental Protection Agency, which leaves much to be desired. Hmm. A preliminary estimate of just eight of these questionable or allegedly questionable contracts reveals that the EPA has expended uh, a minimum amount of 1.5 million Ghana cities on the contracts. The allegations range from entity heads breaching thresholds to breaking of bulk, conflict of interest involving some members of the entity tender committee and lack of value for money audits. Now to the investigative journalist who has been delving into these contracts, Frederick Esiama, who is with Corruption Watch. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Daniel. How be uh, by the grace of God, how are you? I am blessed myself. Thank God. So walk us through these investigations that you have been doing. Okay, so 
as always, we either get a tip off or we do our hypothesis and we go s- start investigating. In this case, we got a tip off that, hey, you people have been looking at NLA and other institutions. You need to turn your attention to EPA. So we decided to turn our attention to EPA. And we've got loads and loads of documents. But this morning, we just want to tell listeners about a number of contracts that we have analyzed in which we have found uh, that at least 1.5 million Ghana cities was spent on questionable contracts. That's a lot of money. 1.5 million Ghana cities. And if you look at the nature as uh, we have been enumerating since we started, it's, it's a lot. So, so take us from the very beginning. Okay. So um, d- the documents that we have seen uh, indicate that the Environmental Protection Agency has been involved in systemic breaching of procurement rules. And these rules include entity heads breaching their thresholds. Um, they include a lack of um, value for money audit. It includes conflict of interest by some entity tender committee members and they also include um, breaking of bulk so let me just give you a few facts okay um, the documents prove that different executive directors have approved contracts above the permitted thresholds without recourse to the entity tender committee during the first stint of john a Puaman, who is currently the acting executive director. Um, he was previously acting executive director. Okay. Um, he signed two contracts of 154,653 cities, 50 pesos, and 174,534 cities, 50 pesos, with two service providers for printing of EPA reports in January 2017. He was not authorized to sign those contracts with that approval from the EPA's Entity Tender Committee. Mm -hmm. According to the Public Procurement Amended Act 2016, Mr. Puaman, as the entity head, has authority to approve all contracts below the threshold of 100,000 Ghana cities for goods and services and 150,000 cities for works. You notice that the prices I quoted are above even 150,000 if they decided that um, they want to describe the printing of a uh, report as works. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mr. Puaman, who is having a second stint as the acting executive director at the AP, has not responded to Corruption Watch's uh, request for a response, even though he has been contacted through a letter. Uh, we've done follow up calls and follow up visits. Um, let's go to Another person, Mr. Abum Sakodie, who was executive director from August of 2017 till around April 2018. He committed a similar breach in December 2017 when he was then the executive director of the EPA. He signed off a 210,892 uh, CDs contract to Trinity 3 Consult for the supply of items for Christmas packages for EPA staff and retirees. That contract went wrong. And why do I say so? Because it cost the EPA 64,066 cities. After the price of a box containing 12 bottles of better malt was hiked from 50 Ghana cities to 1 Hundred and fifty Ghana cities. So a box of better malt costs fifty Ghana cities. Yes, a box. Twelve that bottles. Pack, it has twelve bottles in it. But it was moved to a hundred and fifty Ghana cities. Yes. Let me just chip in that you remember when we were doing the NLA contracts, there was also a case of better malt. In that case, also the unit price was fifty Ghana cities. Okay. Yes. Okay. But in this case, the price, the unit price moved from 50 Ghana cities to 150. And this is where that computation comes from that it then takes the cost of a bottle of better malt to about 12 cities, 50 pesos. Yes. Interesting. So the notification of contract award letter dated 14 December 2017 and signed by Mr. Sarkodie indicated the unit price of better malt at 150 cities. 
This amount was three times the figure recorded in the evaluation report, which captured the bidding price for better mode as 50 cities. Mr. Sarkozy has defended the signing of the contract with that entity tender committee approval, saying the EPA did not have an entity tender committee at the time. However, he says the price change was an error and the supplier, Trinity Trade Consort, has not was notified a few weeks later to refund the 64,000 cities as overpayment. Let's hear Mr. Sarkozy. Actually, seriously, I didn't engage in any procurement um, procedures because by then, the entity tender committee for procurement had not been constituted. So, and by, by, the, by the status of my appointment or my office, I had a threshold of any procurement that was below 100,000, that's 1 billion euros, I could just give it to them to do on the selective tender. That was a smaller amount. So the, the normal about routine supplies of this, I would just give it to them. Please. Uh, they, they, I didn't even know uh, then they were doing it and bringing our sign because that was within my threshold. Did and they ever bring things that were above your threshold and ask no, them to no, sign? No, no, as at that time, no. So. Uh, any procurement uh, that was uh, within your treasury. was within my treasury, so they, they were not matters of interest to me. But I didn't do any serious procurement apart from one other one, the one which happened in December. And um, um, the, the, the agency had, as a tradition, every year they do what they call end of year party. And then on that occasion to uh, we honor non-serving non -serving, uh, workers. This procurement, it had already been budgeted in the previous year because it was the previous year, 2016 budget that was in, in progress in 2017. Mm -hmm. So the money, the, the board had approved of the budget already. The budget had been approved already. As at the time I, we, were, we were talking, it had been approved already, and we were getting closer. We were in December, and the goods were to be ready by 15th. So if we were to go open tender and all those things, that one wouldn't have been able to make us do the procurement and to meet the, the timelines. So I said, in that case, let us give it to selective tender where you request for quotations. Mm -hmm. That's also, you see, another form of procurement. Outside our own uh, staff. So we have, we have suppliers. So are you saying that in the past they were not asking suppliers to bring? No, 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 no. They were not giving so. So people. So this time you decided to give it to a supplier suppliers. in your system. Yes. So Trinity Three Consult was a supplier in your system. Yes. So, so what kind of goods were? were oh, you? normal rice, uh, oil, uh, Christmas uh, goods. Okay. And then the the the, uh, the long serving. Honest to uh, TVs and uh, those electronic items. Do you remember the value of this contract? I, not exactly, but it was um, more than, I think, 300,000. Okay. So, so if, if the figure was above your threshold, after they did the evaluation to go to ETC, Entity Tender Committee? Yes, yeah, the, norm, the, norm, the, the, the normal procurement ones. That is how it should go. Yeah. So when you finish that process and they did the evaluation did they come to entity tender committee no this one as i said this one uh, you decided to bypass we, the process we didn't bypass but this one was a special one as i said we were even going to hand the money over to our own workers to go and buy the goods for us mm -hmm. and under the circumstance the only way we could do that was for them i gave you to the procurement to i think request for quotation from suppliers okay. who were doing supplies for us okay so they did it and uh, at that point, by all means, the report came, so finally I had to sign. Like yes, the final contract yes, document yes. came to you and you signed, yes. even though the amount was above your, the ceiling that you were permitted to yes, sign. Yes, as, as I said, this one was a special one. But you could have called for an emergency entity tender committee meeting. Even by then, by then, we had not even called, no, we didn't have an entity tender committee. So, Fred, that was Peter Bumsa Akodia. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, who else did we speak to? Okay, so I also spoke with Mr. Charles Amevo. At the time this procurement happened, Charles Amevo was the Deputy Executive Director in charge of Finance and Administration. And he had 
supervisory powers over all procurements at that time. So I asked him what happened in this case. And he says that upon identifying, he said that actually what went wrong was that there was an error in capturing the unit price of the better mode. Okay. Because the error, there's a, a difference between what was in the evaluation report, which he says he saw, and the contract award document. But so he says upon identifying the error, he took steps to retrieve the amount by even seeking the support of the EPA legal team. Let's hear him. So it was post payment that we were establishing order for documentation to be filed that the error then came to light. And immediately I saw that there was a discrepancy. We saw that there was a discrepancy between the the award notification letter and then the tender evaluation or the quotation evaluation report. That was when we raised an alarm and started the notification measures from then. Exactly what did you do? Well, immediately we drew the attention of the executive director that we had made some payment in error and he mandated me to take immediate steps to recover the payment. So we wrote a letter to the supplier informing him about the discrepancy that has led to the overpayment and then asking him to uh, to respond by acknowledging the, the error and then by also uh, refunding the total amount involved. So we got a response subsequent to that from the supplier to the effect that yes, they were in agreement that there was an error that had led to an overpayment that they had received and that uh, because they had had some financial challenges even after receiving those payments that were made to them, they were not in, in position to refund immediately, but they were committing to a three uh, a three installment payment to refund the money. So that's Charles and Mevo that we just heard from Fred. Has this money been paid? The money has not been paid. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, so um, meanwhile, the supplier in question, Trinity Three Consort, has not been able to begin refunding the amount, as I have indicated. Um, in spite of initially writing to indicate he will refund the amount in three installments, beginning with a 20,000 CDs payment in April 2018. Let me clarify that I am making, stating this based on the documents I've seen. Okay. including correspondence between the company and EPA. Okay. He told Corruption Watch that he ran at a loss in the contract he executed. Therefore, he submitted a second invoice to the EPA in an attempt to break even. There's explanation to that, whereby you can say it's an overpayment. It's not like, uh, I'm supposed to pay like 10000 and they pay me 200000 It wasn't like that. But English language and how to put things is quite different for understandable. It was like, uh, since I was losing the business for the price, around that time I sent the quotation to them and the demand was very hard for me to also deliver. So I add some of the invoice that I gave it to them. Let me say the amount that I gave it to them for my first invoice. I just, when I went to market, or when I decided to supply the items, I saw that the price have changed. So there's no way I can I report back to the agency, but there was no way around that time the board can sit and then maybe add or do another, let me say, uh, whether a top up or something for me to continue the contract. So I need to work and work around uh, the figure that um, the amount that they have given to me. So the only thing that I can gain or try to respond to my losses was adding a few to the mod, the better mod. So it ended up that it was uh, too high for the agency. That's around 60 something. So they reported back to me. That I said, okay, no problem. 
I will respond to it. If the agency said it's too much, I will respond to it, then do a refund on that. So that was Nana Kumia. Uh, yeah. The head of Trinity Three Consult. Yes. Um, help me understand, Fred. You interviewed him. Yeah. What is he telling us here? Okay, so um, let me say that this morning on my way to the studio, he actually called to clarify what he meant by that. And he says that he has in his possession his own documentation. He submitted a second invoice to the EPA after attempting to negotiate uh, verbally for a price change for them to adjust the prices of the malts yes and the other items and the other items so when he failed he submitted a second invoice on which the price of the better malt was 150 ghana cities instead of 50 ghana cities wait so he wanted to change the price yes so he wanted to make up for what he claims to be losses from the other um items that he bought and then he was also telling me that well uh, the change in the vat regime affected him because when he went to the wholesalers he they were charging him 17.5 percent for the vat and then when he came to epa he was able to recover three percent so the difference meant that he lost on the transaction so he wanted to make up for it so the taxes that he paid to the state Yes, that is what he, he said. He wants to recoup those taxes. He, through that means. So what he did was to inflate the better mod price from 50 Ghana cities to 150 cities. Okay. And it is not clear, however, who at EPA effected the change of the unit price for the better mod in the contract document. Okay. Because both Mr. Sarkozy and Mr. Mevo say they do not know how it came about. Uh, Fred... Yeah. Let's make this clear. Nana Komiya is saying that he deliberately changed this from 50 to 150 cities. Yes, and submitted and a he, second invoice. And he gave reasons. Yes. In fact, he says that he discussed with EPA officials. Yes. Amevo admits that he came to him to discuss. He told him that he couldn't do anything about it. No, but Nana Komiya then, says that after this discussion, he made a change. Yes, he made a change. And I asked him, who did he submit the second invoice to? He says he will not tell me. Because no, but my question here is that Mr. Mevo and Mr. Sarkozy are saying this is a mistake. Yes. But the contractor is saying it's not a mistake. I discussed with the EPA and then I made the change. Yeah, he is now admitting to me that it's a mistake, but he has not admitted to the... In fact, as I speak, I checked from the documentation. It appears not everybody at EPA even knows of the second invoice. Okay. Let's look so at... So there was some outsmarting being done there. Um, alleged, alleged, yes. out, outsmarting. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's go down and look at these other breaches involving Mr. Daniel Agui and Patrick Adai. Okay. So, in other breaches, uh, Mr. Daniel Agui and Mr. Patrick Adai, directors for administration and finance. Fred, I hate to do this, but before you go ahead, let's take some important messages. When we come back, we will deal um, decisively with these other parts of our investigation. Okay. And we are still listening to the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. There's a lot more coming up that we have uncovered in our latest uh, Corruption Watch investigation. Stay with us. This is the Super Morning Show. At Afrodan, we believe that many of the problems people have with their health is as a result of the way they sit. In other words, your chair can kill you. Here's Dr. Marcus Mann of the Chiropractic and Wellness Center. What you have to remember is that the spine is the lifeline to your body. And posture is the window to that spine. Now, posture is affected by your daily activities and habits like sitting. That's why at the Chiropractic and Wellness Centers, we recommend what I believe to be the best chairs available for preventing not only subluxations, but also other health problems that you may not be aware of. And that's Rabami and Mobilex chairs. Unfortunately, on a daily basis, I have to correct the effects of this poor sitting habit in our businessmen and businesswomen. Always remember, optimal spine equals optimum health. So, for the sake of your health, buy Robami or Mobilex chairs from Afrodan. We are on the first floor of the Swansea Shopping Arcade. Telephone 663-085. Good day, my one and only human resource manager. Good day, Abna. Hmm... It just occurred to me, now that our colleague is no more, what's going to happen to his wife and children? Oh, that one. 
the company has a unique Glyco Group comprehensive insurance cover for staff. And the good news is that Glyco Life has already paid a claim for our late colleague, so his family will be well taken care of financially. Wow, this is so relieving to hear. Yes, the Glyco Group Comprehensive Plan provides a 24-hour adequate group life cover for employees or members of associations. Should any employee be injured in an accident, suffer disability, terminal diseases like heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, or even death, Glyco Group Comprehensive Plan will pay substantial benefits to them or their beneficiaries. Moreover, the plan also takes care of our company's legal liability under the Workmen's Compensation Act. I've not closed your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Keep up the good work. So, my fellow corporate human resource managers and executives, call Glyco Life on 020-422-113 or 050-125-6336. Email to customer services at glycogroup.com or grouplife at glycolife.com to have your employees covered under the Glyco Group Comprehensive Plan. LPG is a safe source of energy only when used right. Do not neglect any safety tips when using LPG. Smell and check for gas leakage before using your stove. When you smell gas, ventilate the room. Do not turn electrical switches on or off. This could spark a fire. Extinguish all naked flame and immediately call a qualified technician to service your stove. Use soapy water to check for gas leakage. When bubbles appear, you have a leak. Check your hose regularly for cracks and change hose at least once in two years. Always light your match before you turn on your gas cooker. Always keep your regulator off when not in use. A message from the National Petroleum Authority. Unique Insurance is offering free breakdown towing service plus payment of minor accident claims within two hours. Get your comprehensive moto insurance from Unique Insurance today and enjoy breakdown towing service at no cost to you anytime, anywhere. In addition, minor accident claims will be paid within two hours. Call Unique Insurance now, 050-1550-383. Unique Insurance, where your needs come first. Terms and conditions supply. At Oka, 15 is the magic number because Oka is 15. From now to 10th November 2018, we're giving you up to 15% off on everything you buy at Oka. That's up to 15% on sofas, bed, coffee tables, chairs, kitchenware, dinner sets, mugs, toys, decorations. Ooh. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to Oka now and start shopping. Locate Oka Deco at Springtest Road, Accra, and visit our website and Facebook pages for more information. Let's make memories together. Think home, think Oka. Buying a new car isn't just about the physical product. It says decision made to achieve lasting peace of mind. The all-new Toyota Corolla with reinforced suspension, reliable engine performance, quiet cabin atmosphere, stability and superior maneuvering is your smart choice. Be smart. Stay ahead of your peers with the all-new Toyota Corolla. Whether it is the 1.6 liters or the 1.8 liters automatic, you get maximum fuel economy because the Toyota Corolla has been redesigned to give you extra mileage and deliver the best driving experience. Want more? Take advantage of our huge discounts promo this season by visiting any of our showrooms or call 0302-910-204 now. Make that smart decision. Think economy. Think value for money. Toyota Corolla, your dependable partner for life. There's a reason everyone talks about togetherness. The strength in numbers, the longevity of community, the success togetherness brings. So it's a good reason that the Ghana Stock Exchange set out to bring companies and investors together to foster business growth and fuel individual wealth creation together. Because when we come together, things work for everyone's good. Raise long-term capital for your business or buy shares on the Ghana Stock Exchange today and see the prosperity it brings to all. Visit us on the 5th and 6th floors, City House, Liberia Road, or call us on 0302-669-908 or 669-935 or visit www.gse.com.gh or talk to a licensed stockbroker for more information. Ghana Stock Exchange, bringing companies and investors together since 1989. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. Welcome back to Corruption Watch here on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. I am Daniel Dazzy. 
Special, special, special good morning to our friends from Strengthening Action Against Corruption Stack. Renee and Bruce, wherever you are in this world, good morning. Now, buying a new car isn't just about the physical products. It's a decision based on a bundle of financial considerations to achieve a lifetime of peace of mind. Be smart. Stay ahead of your peers with the all-new Toyota Corolla. And there's more. Much more. Take advantage of our huge discounts promo this season by visiting any of our showrooms or call 302 910 now. Make that smart decision today. Think economy. Think value for money. Toyota Corolla, a dependable partner for life. Now, text messages are brought to you by Afrodan. Your back must last you a lifetime. And Glyco Travel Insurance Policy, we cushion you for life. Now, uh, Afrodan is offering you today the most comfortable chair in the world, the Nightingale Extreme Comfort Chair. So go to Afrodan on the first floor of the Swazi Shopping Arcade and feel this chair. You will be amazed. I'm coming back to you, Frederick, to tell us about what happened with Mr. Agwe and Mr. Dai. Yes, uh, yes. Before then, I forgot one line to say that when I checked, even today on the market, Better Mort, a box is going for 24 CDs. 24 cities. And yes, we bought a box for 118. And we bought a box for 150 cities. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Now, in other breaches, Mr. Daniela Gree and Mr. Patrick Adai, directors for administration and finance, respectively, at EPA, are in apparent conflict rules as they serve as entity tender committee members, as well as constitute themselves into tender evaluation panels. It is against procurement best practice rules to have. Entity tender committee members conduct evaluation of tenders, prepare evaluation reports, and sit at the ETC meeting to approve those reports. So it's like being a judge in your own case. Yeah. A case of lack of value for money audit has also been leveled against the two officers. In one of many flaws found in their work, they appeared conflated in a tender for supply of laboratory equipment and consumables, consumable items in 2017. Okay. When a re-evaluation of tenders they evaluated showed that the agency set aside a lowest evaluated bidder whose bid was around 350000 mm-hmm. and gave a contract to a higher bidder who even missed more specifications. A different team was able to subsequently renegotiate that contract of 650,057 CDs okay. downwards to 550,052 CDs, saving the agency... 100,000 CDs. Thank you very much, Fred, for bringing us those jaw-dropping statistics from the Environmental Protection Agency. So now you now understand, listeners, how one bottle of better malt costs 12 CDs 50 pesos. Now, before um, we go to our panelists in our anti-corruption school segment... Here are some facts about the EPA to help us contextualize this a bit further. Now, the EPA is the leading public body for protecting and improving the environment in Ghana. Its job is to make everyone take care of the air, land and water so that tomorrow's generations inherit a cleaner, healthier world. The EPA offices across Ghana are working on and carrying out government policy, inspecting and regulating businesses and reacting when there is an emergency, such as a pollution incident. Um, a 13-member board of directors appointed by the president of Ghana supervises its operations. However, the management of EPA's day-to-day operations is directly under the executive director and three divisional heads. That is, executive, deputy executive directors. The EPA has three divisions, namely operations, technical services, and general services. In 2017, the EPA generated in excess of 60 million Ghana cities as internally generated funds IGF. This is revenue separate from all the project funds that the EPA receives every year, some through development partners. As an agent or agency weaned from central government subvention, the EPA currently supports the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, MESTI, with 1 million Ghana cities every quarter totaling 4 million Ghana cities annually. This arrangement has been in place since the year 2016. I have the pleasure to once again personally introduce our panelists for today, Alexander Owusu Akrofi, a procurement expert and a lecturer who is joining the anti-corruption school segment now. Good morning, uh, Mr. Akrofi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Great. So if... 
you went in to conduct a procurement audit on mm. the story that we have heard. What will be the first questions to raise? Do you have the law in front of you? Do you have a copy of the... The procurement? The yeah, yeah, the PP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amended. Go ahead. You have one? Yes, go ahead. Okay, look at section 21. Mm -hmm. Look at section 21. That will be the first question that I'll ask. It talks about the procurement plan. Yeah. Every, every procurement entity uh, in the public sector must first and foremost prepare a procurement plan. Mm -hmm. And all activities of the entity must be based on their plan. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you, you would ask what... Do they what's... have a procurement plan? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the first question that I'll ask. Mm -hmm. And then you'll find out whether that particular activity that we are talking about is covered in the procurement plan. Yeah. Okay. The procurement plan will detail the thresholds, will determine the thresholds and determine the methods that you have to use. Are you saying that we can use methods that are determined by the procurement plan independent of what the uh, of what the law says should be used for for instance? No, I'm there saying are that mm -hmm. in accordance with the law, you first and foremost have to have a procurement plan. And your procurement plan should detail the the budget of the of the procurement and the methods and the processes that you need to use. Okay, so we we have here a case where uh, an entity head has approved for a contract that is beyond his threshold. Of and even that, mm -hmm. even that, you see, the law also allows for different procurement methods. So first and foremost, when you have when you have assessed the procurement plan, you'll be able to know the budgetary the the budget for that procurement, and that procurement will determine the the method the method uh, I mean the threshold will determine the method that you need to use, and the method will detect the processes that you need to you need to use to buy. So it doesn't it doesn't matter whether he signed a loan or he didn't sign a loan. There are other methods because if they, they have used based on your procurement plan, if they have used a single source, then the entity head can sign. But if you use a single source, there are also processes that you need to follow. And if you are using a single source, then you need approval from from PPA. So first you have to find out whether it was a single source and whether there was any approval source from PPA. No, they did take different price quotations from different entities for this case. Oh, they use price quotation. Yes, they use price quotation. If, if it's price quotation, then the limit should be hundred thousand Ghana cities. Okay, so these two contracts are one hundred and fifty thousand Ghana cities and hundred and a little over one hundred and seventy thousand Ghana cities. So one hundred and fifty-four and more uh, one hundred and seventy plus. Uh, if if what you are saying is right, because I haven't seen the document. Okay. If what you are saying is right, then the law stipulates that request for quotation. The entity head has a limit up to hundred thousand, and that is it. Okay, uh, and this so is based, mm. this is based on the various shadows, the shadows of the law. You go, when you have your law, just go to the shadows, and you will see that the entity head will have or a request for the other a few shadows, the, the few shadows of the law, price quotation, price quotation, the entity head. When, when if it's goods, the entity has half hundred thousand. If it's works, it's two hundred thousand. If it's technical services, it's fifty thousand. And that okay. is the law. Okay. So beyond beyond that uh, particular case, there is also a case where um, the price the pricing of some of the items uh, increased. A box of better malt was procured for 150 Ghana cities as opposed to 50 Ghana cities. Officials of the EPA say they identified this as an error and they asked for the monies to be refunded, which monies have not been refunded since the request was made in January. Um, what's the best step to take after this? Uh, if, but, but let, let me understand the question because the point is this, that once 
once you have over how how was the how was the supply overpaid? So he was paid for a box of better malt at mm. I'm using a unit price. He was paid for mm. every box at a price of 150 Ghana CDs. And based on what? Yeah, based How on his quotation. Based on his quotation, he submitted based on his quotation. Yes. He submitted um, a second invoice of 150 Ghana CDs. Um, it was initially supposed to be 50 Ghana CDs. And he, he tells us that he submitted a second invoice, uh, which had 150 How? Ghana How CDs. Was that done? Because How? the point is this. Mm -hmm. Listen, the point is this. The procurement processes must be made such that you will not have this kind of things arising. Because even if you have to do a, a request for quotation, there must be a way of receiving these uh, uh, tenders. First, you must have a tender box. It must be put in into it if you have invited five or three or whatever companies that you have. You have invited. They must deposit their their invoices at, in the tender box, and there must be a day to to open the tender. And therefore, if that has been done, you will not have a cost of asking other uh, suppliers to change their prices. How? Mm. I, I don't understand. Okay, okay. Um, the, finally, two members of the tender entity tender committee were put on the tender evaluation panel. Is this above board? Is this how it's done? Uh, please, you, you, you still have the law. Look at part two of the law. Okay. And look at the procurement structure. Mm? Okay. You have the head of entity, the function of the head of entity, the procurement unit, the entity and the committee unit. Yeah. The rules and their responsibilities have been assigned there. Okay. So you, you, you can't have one, you uh, can't have the entity members you know, taking part in evaluation, and then the evaluation report will come back to them for them to take uh, uh, decisions on, on it. I don't think uh, that is in accordance with the law. So finally, but Mr. Osakrofi, mm, what yes. should be the consequence for those whose actions and inactions have resulted in this wrongdoing? Please look at Section 92 of the law. Go ahead. Section 92 of the law. Do you have your law? Yes, yes, yes. So offenses, um, yes, please, offenses, make your point. Offenses, yeah. relating, offenses relating to the procurement, any procurement offenses or infractions, the, the law stipulates the sanctions in there. And you want me to read? Go ahead. Good. Uh, that is Section 92 1. It says, A person who contravenes a provision of this act commits an offense. And where a penalty is not provided for the offense, that person is liable on some condition to a fine not exceeding 2,500 penalty units or a term of imprisonment not exceeding five years or to both the fine and imprisonment. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. So, so your advice would be that the law should be applied as it states clearly here? It is not that it should be applied. It might be seen to be applied. Because this is the law that we have enacted for ourselves. So far as you are acting in the public procurement arena, this is the law that you must apply yourself to. And everybody, I mean everybody in this country who works in the public service must address themselves to this law. Thank you if very you much. This, if you do this, then value for money will always be achieved. Thank you very much, Mr. Osa Kofi. He's a procurement expert and a lecturer. Joining us today on the show. Thank you very much, uh, Fred Isiama, as well, for uh, doing the sterling by bringing us this investigation. Thank you, Daniel. Have a great day. So, as we always say, we all, in our own small way, can help in the fight against corruption. Kindly reach us on the Corruption Watch hotline on 055-453-6586 or on WhatsApp number 055-453-6295. Our website is topcorruptionghana.org. Our partners on Corruption Watch are Ghana Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, Ghana Integrity Initiative, GII, Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, GACC, Joy FM, and Africa Center for International Law and Accountability, ASILA. Our sponsors are Strengthening Action Against Corruption, Stack.
still a lot more to come on the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. Stay with us. But even with the best of security and protection, the unexpected happens. You cannot foresee or plan for the worst, but rest assured, Glyco General is here to cushion you for life always. Get the Glyco General Homeowners Insurance Package for your house and content and let Glyco General do the worrying whilst you sleep soundly. With as little as 54 pesos a day for your home, you also receive from Glyco General a few content, a free content cover of 5,000 Ghana CDs or 10,000 Ghana CDs depending on your building, a free public liability cover of up to 10,000 Ghana cities and a free personal accidents cover, including domestic helps of up to 2,000 Ghana cities. Call a Glyco General today on Star Glyco on the Star Phone app or on mobile 020 222 or 020 222 or email sales at glycogen.com. Glyco General, we cushion you for life indeed. Now, Rana Motors is 40 years, and for 40 days running, we are asking you, our cherished patrons, to join us to celebrate this occasion with once in a lifetime discounts on one of our favorite, on some of your favorite KIA models or Kia models. Uh, be part of the ongoing fun and excitement by visiting our showrooms in Accra, Temas, Fintech, Stakrade, and now Kumase. And you will not walk away empty handed because it's raining instant gifts and prizes. Don't be left out of the 40 years for 40 days celebration at Rana Motors. It's just the beginning. Link up on 024-991-1444 for further information. Kia, the power to surprise. Stay with us. So, what's it like traveling with him? Oh, Sarah, he's such a drama queen. First the hotel wasn't his liking, then the opera seats were too far back. Ah, oh, but he's very sweet and he treats me like a princess. Wait, can't he hear you? Oh, don't.